So this is this is the spectrum that's been def the hologram is diffracted. So oh. the other pieces downstairs, oh. they were put it, they were multiplying the spectrum. So they'd have like one spectrum like this, and so you see green here, and then they'd have another spectrum where you'd see the red there, and another spectrum where you'd see the blue there, and that's how you got the the full color. This piece is just a single rainbow, but it's spread out in such a way that you can be inside sort of one color at a time. This is again a, a multiplex or an integral process. This one is 180 images made from 50 photographs that were then uh, sort of multiplied and uh, the backgrounds are computer generated to match the photographs. And this background was inspired by the eye of a bee because bees have hairs on their eyeballs. Uh, and so we were thinking about the concept of what does light feel like. Ooh, give me chills. So this is our character. And she does look at you if you come to about here. Oh. Wow. You don't see her until you get over here. Yeah. And then she and leaves and you get too far. Yeah, and the further back you are, the sharper it is. Well, I think that's. And that's your creation, right? Yeah, this is a piece I made. I made it in 2004. So. I got, a, I got some funding, hence I can print that big. Most of the pieces I print are uh, about this big, because that's what I had as a studio. So set. sizes makes it much more expensive. Yeah, it just, it's just, when they're, when they're bigger, it's everything is kind of difficult, more difficult. Uh, and the film gets quite expensive. So the maximums, film that they make is rolls of 10 meters by one meter uh -huh. uh, and those rolls of film are three or four thousand dollars so you start getting up there with the film cost and the studio cost and the transportation cost and 